here's what they're going to try to do well. Tony Parker in transition goes one-on-one with the best of them. Mm -hmm. He's playing terrific this year. Yep, big year for him. Manu Ginobili, he's back being productive. He's back. All three of their big three, along with Tim Duncan, had over 20 points against the Los Angeles Lakers. Mm -hmm. Their shooting on the perimeter is some of the best in the entire league. Bonner, Neal. These guys are snipers. They knock down threes. Yep. Hall of Fame coach on the sideline. Always presses the right buttons. If you look up the term team in the dictionary, there should be a picture of Tim Duncan with his arms folded. (laughs) I don't even know what that means. It probably should be a team, let's be honest. (laughs) <laughs> Good point. So I should be one dude. <laughs> yeah, I usually go with you on these things, Jalen, but come on. <laughs> you look up team in the dictionary, it should be one guy standing there with his arm Good. folded. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> so, here's the issue, though. They need another big to contest shots, block shots, score points around the rim, besides Tim Duncan. So who are the players that they have on their roster? Tiago Splitter. Mm. Can he be consistent? Probably not. I love DeJuan Blair's energy, effort, and intangibles, but he's six eight. Tractor trailer not two. Six ten. Tractor trailer two. Rest in peace, Tractor. I love you. I miss you. So, that's the issue for the Spurs, and that's why they lost last year to the Grizzlies because they have grounded pound. Zach mm-hmm. Randolph, Marcus Gasol, Spates coming in off the bench.